So hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to easily share the photos from your camera on the Instagram and Facebook, email, or whatever you want to do. So basically there's three ways to get the pictures from your camera onto your computer or phone, right? Um, one way, and this is usually touted from the manufacturer, is you know download our app onto your phone, then you can wirelessly transfer the pictures from your camera onto your phone. Then once they're on your phone, they're easy enough to share to Instagram, for example, or Facebook, um, or email. You know, once they're on your phone, it's very easy. But the problem with those apps are, and, and this is the problem I have, is, is I can't get my phone to connect half the time to the camera app <laughs> or to the camera through the app. Uh, you know, my phone is like five years old and, you know, it, I'm sure that's what the problem is, but, um, you know, and, and a lot of times I'm at home or I'm on a Wi-Fi network already, so I have to disconnect from the other Wi-Fi network and then connect to the Wi-Fi on the camera. And, it, you know, even if I can get the camera to connect properly to my phone, it's really a big hassle, right? Uh, and then once it's connected, looking at the photos and reviewing them, is very slow and painful process. Uh, it's also to download the picture once you choose one is even slower. Uh, even in, if you got movie clips or something, yeah, forget it. You're going to be there. Your battery will be dead before that movie finishes transferring. So I don't recommend doing that way. So I'm not going to talk about that one. That, and that's going to vary depending on the uh, manufacturer you have, Nikon, Canon, Panasonic. Uh, all those companies have their own app. Uh, the way I'm going to talk about, and we'll start with the phone, then I'll talk about the computer. Uh, the easiest way is you get one of these, what they call an OTG card reader. Now they sell these for the different kinds of phones, right? So my phone is an old Android phone. It uses a micro USB connector. Uh, and up until this year, a lot of phones still use the micro uh, USB connector. So this may be the one you want to get. Uh, so you'll need to check your phone and see what kind of connector it has. Some of them have the USB-C, uh, and Apple, I think, has their own, own connector sometimes. I'm not that familiar with Apple, but everything I'm about to do should be very similar on an Apple phone, right? There's got to be a way to uh, look at files from an OTG connector, put them on the cloud, possibly. I guess they have Apple iCloud, and then share them to Instagram. So I'm going to do it on my phone. And you can extrapolate from there if you have an Apple. All right, so let me go ahead and get started. And so all you have to do really first is just plug the USB or plug the uh, OTG adapter into your phone. In my case, it's going to be the uh, micro USB adapter. And on my phone, it's just on the bottom, like so. Once it's connected, then I take the memory card out of the uh, camera and just plug it into the adapter, like so. And then you'll see, on my phone at least, right away, the, uh, the contents of the memory card show up right on the phone. If it, they don't show up here, you can usually just go into your apps and look for the My Files app here. And then it'll take you in. And if it's not on there, you'll see like the normal things here, right? You, you want to pick the USB storage, like so. And then you'll be in the phone. Now, Android likes to add their own folders whenever you put a card in, which is no big deal. I don't care about that. The one you want to use is this one here. It's called a DCIM. So you click on that one. And then you'll see another folder, at least one, which will have all of your pictures in it. In my case, with my Olympus camera, it's called, uh, it looks like 100 Olymp. Uh, sometimes I, I'll see the D750 folder, or I'll see another uh, Olympus camera folder. But in, uh, today, I just have this one folder. So I'll open this up. And you can see how quickly everything comes up. It's just like being on your computer, right? And then all I have to do is scroll down. And I've already shared one picture earlier today using this method, but uh, let me pick a different one, just for grins. Is there anything here we're sharing? Maybe this one. 
Okay, and then once I've opened it, you can see how quickly it comes up. All I do is click the share button. And then I pick uh, feed. I don't know how to use director stories. <laughs> and then from here, everything's the same, right? I just crop, click next, click next, type some uh, whatever in here, then click the share button, and then it goes right onto your Instagram just like that. So that's how easy it is. So again, this is just an OTG SD card reader. Um, I paid like $8 for this. I'll put a link down below to the one that I bought. Uh, if you have a micro USB connector and then links to like the Apple versions and USB-C ones as well. Uh, but let's go onto the computer. I'm going to show you that it's just as easy to do it on your computer. You don't have to transfer because I used to transfer the files from my computer back onto my phone via these FTP clients and apps. And it was a workaround, but it got the job done. But it's, there's a much easier way to do this, uh, the transfer, because, you know, computers, uh, you can't share files directly to Instagram from your computer very easily, but I'm going to show you a very easy way to do that. All right, so I brought up my Windows 10 laptop and the SD card for my camera, and uh, I've opened up Google Chrome, and you'll need to be using Google Chrome. Uh, and then I'll just put the uh, SD card in my laptop. And if you don't have an SD card reader on your laptop, you can get these USB uh, SD card readers. It's uh, exactly the same thing. And uh, now I'm in Instagram here. Uh, and all I have to do from here, because you'll notice there's no way to upload directly to Instagram anything off that SD card. So, but what you can do is you can trick Instagram into thinking you're on your phone. So you go up to these three dots here. And you go down here to more tools. And you go into developer tools. And this is some kind of special mode for people that develop, I guess, apps and extensions for Chrome. Uh, but it's good for us photographers that use Instagram because all we have to do now is click this little icon that says Toggle Device Toolbar. So we click that. And you'll notice the format of Instagram has changed to more of a phone kind of look, more uh, uh, portrait mode, right? But we still don't have the, uh, the little icons to help us upload uh, photos. So what we have to do is just refresh over here. So we reload the page. And my computer is a little slow, so bear with me. <laughs> and now you'll see down here, now we have our little plus icon where we can add uh, files and things, right? Just like if we were on our phone. So I'll just click on that. And uh, we'll scroll down here to the SD card, right? And I have the same four folders here, the DCIM. I'll open that, then I'll open up the 100. Let me go to an icon view. Let's do large icons. There we go. And then I can scroll down to a picture that I want to upload. Some sunset pictures that were total fail. God, I spent probably seven hours yesterday out in Shenandoah Mountains, and I got like one keeper, maybe. <laughs> so sad. Let's say I want to share that photo right there, for example. So I just double click on it. And hello. There we go. <laughs> Like I said, my computer is slow. And then I can crop it just the same. Sort of like that. Then click Next. And you'll see how your mouse kind of changed to a little uh, circle instead of an arrow because now you're mimicking the touch screen on your phone or your finger. So I'll go in here and I'll type whatever caption. This is another picture. Anyhow, and then I'll just click share from here. And that's it. So once I've already, you know, I've already shared the last picture with you guys as a monotone. Um, now, let's say I don't want to be in this mode anymore because you don't want to go to every website 
in a portrait mode like you're on your phone when you're on your laptop. So you just toggle this back to a regular mode and then close it. And then let me just go back to the home page of Instagram. And that's it, and we're done. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. As always, I appreciate the very kind feedback I've been getting. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos, uh, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.